let me see. Am I alive? Mm, okay, I'm alive. It's morning here in Korea. So, good morning to you if you're in Asia. Or good morning, good afternoon if you are somewhere in the Americas. In any case, how are you guys doing today? Let me know in the live chat. KGV, thank you for being here. Balain family, thank you for being here. How's it going, man, Balain? So, the laundry is busy right over there. So, just wait until the dryer is finished. Then I can bring everything upstairs. Can you hear me, everyone? I'm glad you, you're, you are blessed by the videos. Deliverance. Oh, then, thank you for being here. So, as you all know, See, I'm in South Korea at the moment. I've been here for, I believe, seven months already. Things are going well, things are blessed. Let's see where I can sit down. Sit down over here. There are people there watching a movie, so you can hear it in the background. I'm not that often on um, Instagram Live. If I thought, why not go to Instagram Live for for, for, um, for a difference? And just like all my YouTube lives, I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to speak life over you. And what I'm going to say in this, in this live stream is that during this lifetime, you will face difficulties straight up. Everyone will. However, your attitude matters. Your attitude matters. If your attitude is constructive, If your attitude is constructive, you will see difficulty in a proper way. Let me repeat, if your attitude is constructive, you will see difficulty in a proper way. And because you see difficulty in a proper way, you'll be able to conquer it far better. If you have a destructive attitude, that in itself will bring you ruin. So, you have the ability to choose a constructive attitude in life. Are you choosing a constructive attitude? Are you doing that? Let me know in the live chat. Again, there's a movie in the background over there. Don't be dis disrupted by it. Mm. So, if you are not choosing constructive attitude in life, then you're already defeated. Straight up. Alright. So, 
for those that are here. Well, let me see. Soon to rise is here. HH KJV is here. Someone wants to participate in the live stream. Let me check. Someone wants to go live with me. Hello? Can you hear me? HKHFE, can you hear me? I don't hear you very well. Check your camera settings, please. You can speak already, then I can hear you, and the others can hear you also. Hello? Oh, yes, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. This is the first time I've joined a live stream, so I'm new to this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you sound... Um, where are you from? Where are you calling from? I'm British. Oh, yes, you're British. I heard it uh, with your accent. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. thank you for being here. How shall we call you? My name's Amy. Oh, Amy. Yeah, well, I've got Amy, young... you're in the live stream now. Thank you. I've got young children, so if I disappear, that's why. <laughs> it's bedtime here. Oh, okay, it's good. So you've been watching me on YouTube too, also? Uh, yeah, for years now. I did stop watching for a few years and then I might, uh, felt led back to the, um, your videos a couple of months ago. Oh, okay. And I've just, just been good. growing in the videos ever since. I've over 5,000 videos on YouTube now, so that's quite a lot. Yeah, so... you cover you cover a lot of important things that I haven't been able to find answers to before. Oh, okay. So have you watched, are you, have you been in the latest live streams? Because I've been quite some no, live streams lately. This is the first live stream I've been on on Instagram. I did try, attempt to join the YouTube live stream. My name's Amy Beloved on there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm new to all of this really, but I'm interested to hear what you're teaching about. So making okay. more of an effort. Is there any specific topic uh, you want me to cover if the topic is in my field of expertise? Um, well, I'm struggling with dreams. Um, I get a lot of uh, warfare in my dreams. Mm -hmm. And I uh, would be like quite interested to hear like um, what your thoughts on those were because um, that tends to be where I'm, stuff I'm struggling. Okay. Okay, so let me explain first. Um, a dream is when your brain gives an interpretation of what your spirit senses pick up. Right. Um, have you watched my videos, live streams about the energy fields and how that relates to our human body? Um, I may have done, but probably not for a long time. Okay. What well, goes like this? As a spirit being, yeah. your body is your physical extension. Okay, so you're not the body, but the body is your extension. As spirit being, you have energy points, the souls in the chest, uh, the mental centers over here, you have an inner radar, a sexual center, you have an extension of the inner radar in your, around your neck over here, or in okay. your throat. So, um, in your inner radar, this is what we call the gut feeling, your inner radar scans the environment, they pick things up, whether good or right. bad. And uh, you have the energetic, the, the electromagnetic field of the earth that we're all connected to. And right. we as human beings are energy beings, we emit energy. Okay? Right. So if you're walking somewhere in the mall, for example, your inner radar scans everything around automatically. You don't have to do anything, it just happens. Right. If there's a lot of negative contention over there, your inner radar will pick it up. You will feel the heaviness. And your okay. body will give an interpretation, like, for example, if you feel pain in your gut or pain in your stomach or pain in your muscles. It's just the bodily translation 
of the spiritual sense that goes on there. Okay. But it's a very positive climate. It's very positive. You will also feel very elated inside of yourself. So yeah, the, the inner radar picks up good and bad uh, vibrations. Right, now, okay. Sometimes when a vibration is very intense, your brain uh, gets involved and turns it into a visual audio um, presentation to you. Now, let that's, me what's some... happening. that's what's happening to me. Okay, because let's say that because the brain only can make a visual based on your past experiences. So let's say that in your past, you almost drowned at some point. Let's say that happens. Then right. in your brain, water has this traumatic uh, tension in your brain because of what happened in the past. Your okay. neighbor may not have gone through that, but he may have survived a fire. So for him, fire is a traumatic uh, category. Yeah. So let's say both of you walk in the mall and there's danger. And let's say both of you, your brains become active and get an artificial um, interpretation. You may feel like you're drowning. You may even get a daydream of your drowning, but as your brain gives an interpretation, there's danger. Because for your brain, drowning is danger. So you get an artificial place that your neighbor may get, a, how to say, an artificial place to being in a burning building because that's what their brain considers traumatic. So your brain makes interpretations and gives you an artificial based on your past experiences. Okay, so when you get a dream, it's really your brain uh, translating the tensions it receives, whether good or bad. Okay. So when you have a dream, it's, don't be lost in the details. Check the context and how right. it makes you feel. Okay. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. They think that dreams are automatically divinely inspired. Some dreams are, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking in day-to-day -day life. It's your brain interpreting what your inner radar picks up. Yeah, so I've never thought that. I life. never thought they were from. I've never thought they were from Christ. I've always seen them as, you know, something like a, a, some kind of spiritual warfare. Okay. So, but here's the thing about dreams. Dreams can be divinely inspired, but that's a different subject. That's prophecy. Yeah. But apart from prophecy, it's just us picking things up as energy creatures, which is natural. It's not about cult, just how we're built. But okay. if someone has traumas that are not processed, evil spirits have that tension in the energy field as an open door that the evil spirits can transmit visuals to your brain. And your brain will pick up those visuals and you experience those visuals as if it's you experiencing it. Those are demonically infested trees. And that's what a lot of folks have. Yeah. Now, and th but that can only happen if there's an open door that demons can take advantage of. And the easiest way to get rid of this is very easy, is to face whatever trauma it is, whatever it is you haven't processed yet. Face it, process it, and while you're processing it, the wound closes and demons can't do that anymore. Okay, that's I'm going I'm going to spend some time in prayer because I think I'm a bit uncertain about what is the, you know, the main thing that's keeping it going, the thing mm -hmm. that's keeping the door open. So I will we'll spend some time in prayer about that. Okay. So when it comes to paranormally infested dreams, mm -hmm. look at how you feel. Do you feel endangered or do you feel uh, elated? What do you feel? Um. I always see the same um, spirit. It's like, um, a f I think I had a familiar spirit as a child. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like it's taken a lot of years to get rid of it. Um, and I think that I felt slightly traumatized by ha having it so, um, you know, it's been so, it's been so evident that I had it and it was, would let me know it was there. And I know the Lord Jesus has helped deliver me from it. But I think sometimes I feel shaken up by the whole experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's where probably the doors open in my mind towards it. Okay. Um, Amy, do you yeah. have anyone who suggested negative outcomes on you repeatedly in your past? You don't have to yeah. tell us who yeah. it is, but do you have it? Okay. I are you I still do. in contact with the individual? 
Um, no, the person who put me forward for whatever the you know curse or whatever it was has recently passed away. Mm -hmm. And oh. um, I I have felt very different since they've passed away, but um, mm -hmm. uh, no, I've met, I've pretty much moved on from everybody that was a part of my previous life before Christ because it was all connected. So I felt mm -hmm. it was better to start again. Um, which is what I did, but I think it's taken its toll on me mentally, which is probably why I'm dreaming so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, is there anything else you want to say before I uh, jump in? No. Okay, good. Um, what you just said, it may have taken a toll on you. Mm -hmm. That happens. When you go through an energetic conflict, because that's what spiritual warfare is, an energetic conflict, you have demonic mm -hmm. entities who are parasites who want to take advantage of us because they're losers, they have nothing, and you have human beings who don't want to give up the pollution you operate with. Yeah. And all both of that affect us. So as a human being, it kind of can come heavy on you and drain you and exhaust you. That's true. Mm -hmm. And that's why I always teach when you're dealing with um, uh, paranormal roots, I always tell people to Go into prayer, but just go in the relaxed mode. When you go in the relaxed mode, you're more able to reflect back on stuff. And once you reflect back, now you can face the lie that was fed to you. Because in your case, Amy, there was a lie suggested to you about you. But because it was suggested to you over and over again, it, it took root in your mind. And your mind mm -hmm. became attached to it. Because human beings get attached to what we're exposed to. That's how we're designed. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not what we can do about it. It's how we are. But what we can do is, once we realize we are attached to something, ask yourself, why am I attached to this? Once you ask that question, that already exposes that you're attached to something. And if it's something negative that you're being attached to, then someone suggests it onto you or shape it inside of you. Once you admit that also, you admit that it's not your fault, you couldn't do anything about it. So then the guilt disappears because the guilt keeps the, negative, keeps the wounds going. Once okay. the wound is gone, because you don't blame yourself anymore, now mm. you can replace the lie with the truth. So if someone told you that you're a piece of trash, none of the good will come from you, that's a scam. That's a lie. That's not true at all. That's just them projecting bitterness onto you. If they okay. did it over and over again, your mind got attached to this. And before you know it, you expect people to think this way about you. So... You, 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 you go like this. Oh, okay, so that individual uh, said this and that about me. Other people say also, but okay, are they serving Christ? Oh, no, they're not serving Christ. Okay, so what they're saying is not really valuable. Is it Christ-centered? No, because Christ died for me and he rose again. So, I'm valuable. I'm born again. So that means I have Christ's righteousness. And that means that no negative words applies to me. No. And once you keep on saying that to yourself, your mind gets attached to the good seat, and eventually the bad seat breaks down, and it's gone. One day you'll wake up, and you totally forget that you ever thought that way. And what happens when this occurs? The demons begin to crash around you because they have no... Um, they have no... Um, how do I say it? Uh, grip on you anymore? And now the healing begins. Okay. So you understand these steps. Amy. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. That's really helped me. Okay. So one more thing, Amy. Do not blame yourself for how you were shaped by society. You're from no. Britain, right? Yep. And British society has a lot of paranormal contention that it has to face. So you are shaped by your society and you're not responsible for how you came into this world. You're only responsible for looking for better and you did look for better, so there's no blame on you. And anyone that begins to blame you, just shake them out of you in peace and more. Thanks, just connection issues. She's back now. 
Okay, so don't let anyone impute blame on you for something you've been delivered from. Okay. First of all, the Heavenly Father was never in the business of blaming anyone. That's why he sent Christ. Okay, so he's not into blaming anyone. We human beings are obsessed with blaming. We are. But that's something we need to be delivered from because that's an addiction mankind has. Okay? Yeah. And so I will say a prayer for you now. You feel free to pray with me. Thank and you. if you have any other questions, feel free to ask it afterwards. Thank you. I command in Christ Jesus' mighty name that Amy, that Amy has a hedge of protection. I command every evil spirit, every familiar spirit, every witchcraft, every voodoo, hoodoo, and every paranormal contention around her to crash. I command holy fire consume every negative network around her. And I impute, I impute safety, security, prosperity on her everywhere she goes. Everywhere she goes, people receive her in joy and gladness. And I command invisibility on Amy and her children and those in her care that no predator and no foul spirit will be able to detect her when she operates. I command peace to go with you, Amy, wherever you are. That all danger will flee from you chaotically in Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. Do you have anything else? No, that's fantastic. I didn't expect to get to talk to you at all, so I feel really blessed right now. So well, thank you. It was, it was, I was in prayer until the Spirit told me make a live stream on Instagram. I barely do it, so that's why I wow. did it. And then I saw <laughs> that you came up, uh, me, uh, wanted to join the live. I thought, okay, why not? So that happens when you obey the Holy Spirit. Uh, he, he knows incredible. everything, so always be sensitive to him, okay? Yes, thank you so much. I look forward to the next live stream. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and spend some time um, in quiet prayer now. Um, but thank you for being so obedient. Okay, that's good. Praise the Lord and be at peace. Amen. We'll talk later, okay? Yeah, thank you so much. Amen. Bye. Yeah. Okay. So, we're, st we're still here in the live chat. Anyone still here? Okay. Good. So we had Amy, a sister in Christ from Britain that called in with help. And I'm telling the truth, I barely make live streams on Instagram. Because most of the time nobody even watches. So, but when I was just relaxing there in prayer, God Spirit told me, go live on Instagram. I obeyed and look at this. Someone else ministers too. So, always obey the Holy Spirit. He knows everything. So, are there any more questions that I can uh, deal with right now? Let me know in the live chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, not this time. That's good. I don't have anyone else who's here. I only see there's one individual who's watching, so I'm going to close this live stream and come to save it where possible. Keep on coming with Christ and be at peace.